All right, baseball fans, and this week, New York Yankees fans. You see, I've got my New York Yankees jersey on. No, I don't have jerseys of every single team in the major league, but I do have jerseys of quite a few. And uh, this week, we are going to do our spotlight on the New York Yankees. But before I do that, we're going to go over the standings and recap where everybody is in Major League Baseball at this point in the season. And starting with the AL East, where the New York Yankees happen to reside at the top of the division. And you can see that the Yankees are 23 and 8. I mean, if there's such a thing as running away with a division after 31 games, they're doing it. Tampa Bay follows them at 19 and 13. And then you got Toronto at 17 and 15. Baltimore at 14 and 16. And Boston picking up the rear at 11 and 20. Mm. Then in the central, you've got uh, Minnesota on top, 18 and 14. Uh, just two games behind them is the White Sox. My White Sox at 15 and 15, then having gotten drubbed last night by the Yankees. Uh, then you got the Cleveland Guardians at 15 and 15, also in two games back. And then Kansas City at 10 and 19, and Detroit at 9 and 23. Again, Detroit, really strange that they're this bad. I thought they were going to be that much better. Uh, especially after getting Baez, but no. Then in the West, you've got the uh, you got the Houston Astros leading the way at 21 and 11, the Angels at 21 and 12, and only a half game behind them. And then there's everybody else. You've got Seattle at 14 and 18, seven games back. Texas at 13 and 17, seven games back. And Oakland at 14 and 19 and seven and a half games back. And again, Texas and Seattle so far are very disappointing teams. Moving on to the NL East, you can see you've got the Mets leading the way at 22 and 11. And again, this is the Mets without DeGrom. 22 and 11 leading the way. Then you got Atlanta at 15 and 17, tied with Philadelphia, who's also 15 and 17. And then just a half game behind them is Miami at 14 and 17 and Washington picking up the rear, only winning a third of their games at 11 and 22. We move on to the Central and you've got Milwaukee at 20 and 12 leading that division. St. Louis, two and a half games behind them at 17 and 14. Pittsburgh at 13 and 18. The Chicago Cubs at 11 and 19, and Cincinnati at 8 and 24. And then finally, in the West, we have the Dodgers on top, 20 and 10, winning two thirds of their games. San Diego, <coughs> excuse me, at 20 and 12. San Francisco at 19 and 12. Arizona at 17 and 15, and Colorado at 16 and 15. So there are your standings after 30, 29, 31 games, depends on how many they played, but 30-ish or very early 30 uh, number of games played. And now it is time to talk about the New York Yankees. The New York Yankees. Now last week I had the fortune to be able to talk about the Reds as possibly the worst team ever <clears throat> in Major League Baseball in our 2022 season. Now, I have the ability to talk about another team as possibly the best team in the history of Major League Baseball, and that's the New York Yankees. Right now, the Yankees have a record of 23-8. and eight. And they just beat up on the White Sox 15 to 7. So um, let's take a look at some, like I did with the Reds, we'll take a look at some historical pace teams. One of them being the 27 Yankees, the vaunted 1927 Yankees, who had a record of 
21 and 10 at this point in the season. So they are ahead of the 27 Yankees, although the 27 Yankees, see, the 22 Yankees are right now on a pace to win 120 games. The 27 Yankees, uh, no, not so much. So, uh, but at this point in the season, they were only two games worse than what the 22 Yankees are right now. And the 01 Mariners, you remember the 01 Mariners, they won 116 games somehow. The 01 Mariners were 23 and 8, same exact record at this point. So the question is can the Yankees sustain this? If you look, if you delve into some of the statistics, um, offensively, they score 4.8 runs per game, which is tied for fifth in the major leagues. They uh, have 7.9 hits per game, which is tied for 11th in the major leagues. So those aren't, I mean, they're impressive, but they're not like, you know, 23 and 8 impressive. They have a slugging percentage of 418, which is fourth, which is very good. <laughs> they have an OPS of 740, which is second, which is obviously very they, but here is where the rubber hits the road. That's with the pitching. For some reason, the Yankees have stumbled onto a great pitching staff. Um, and nobody saw that coming. Nobody. Uh, they, uh, they have allowed so far 2.9 runs per game, which is second. And that's considering they allowed seven last night to the White Sox. They allow 7.2 hits uh, per game, which is tied for sixth. They have an ERA of 2.74, which is third in the major leagues. And um, some of their top hitters right now, Judge is hitting 296 with 11 home runs. Stanton is hitting 277 with nine home runs. Rizzo, not a good batting average, but he has nine home runs. And LeMahieu is hitting 295. But Again, rubber hits the road. Here's the rotation. And remember, I went over the Reds' rotation and how abysmal that was. Well, uh, as abysmal as the Reds' rotation was, that's how great the Yankees' rotation is so far. you got Nestor Cortez. This guy came out of nowhere last year. He's 1-1 one one with a 141 ERA. Then you got Montgomery with a 2.90 ERA. Then you got Tyon. Who they got? I think they got him off the scrap heap like a year or two ago. He's got a 2.94 ERA. Cole has a 2.67 ERA. And then Michael King, this guy that nobody knows who Michael King is, he has a 135 earned run average. So, I mean, that's all very good statistics. And if you saw my preseason preview of the major leagues, you saw that I had the Yankees pick, like, I think, third in the East. And I said they had a team of DHs. Well, that might well be true. But the pitching, oh, God, the pitching was way better, or is so far way better, than I had even seen it being. So um, can the Yankees sustain this all season long? I don't know. Leave comments below and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You want me to see, if you want to see more highlighting of these teams and talking about potentially at some point your team. But right now, that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke, signing off.